The United Kingdom announced on Monday that a small number of Stormer armored vehicles will be given to Ukraine as part of the country's latest round of aid. Speaking in the House of Commons, British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said the vehicles would be fitted with anti-air missile launchers. Wallace said, I can now announce to the House that we will be gifting a small number of armored vehicles fitted with launchers for those anti-air missiles. The Stormer vehicles will give Ukraine forces enhanced short-range anti-air capabilities both day and night. As per reports, Britain's Ministry of Defense demonstrated the system to Ukrainians on Salisbury Plain two weeks ago. It's understood the Stormer will be flown to the war on C-17 transport planes in days. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the arrival of the British Stormer system is bad news for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for macOS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. Stormers are British armored anti-aircraft combat vehicles. The armor refers to the plating that the vehicles are fitted with for protection against bullets or shell fragments, and anti-aircraft means that they are designed to protect against air attack. The 13.5-ton Stormer vehicles look similar to tanks, but rather than firing shells, they launch 17 Starstreak missiles. The Stormers act as a mobile platform for Starstreak high-velocity missiles HVM, which can be used to counter aerial attacks. According to the Ministry of Defense, a Stormer has a maximum speed of 80 km per hour or 50 miles per hour and has a range of 600 km or 372 miles. The Stormer is fitted with a roof-mounted air defense alerting device which provides target detection and prioritization. A panoramic weapon site is located at the front of the vehicle. Starstreak is a short-range, man-portable air defense system man pads, manufactured by Thales Air Defense, formerly Shorts Missile Systems, in Belfast. It is also known as Starstreak HVM high -velocity missile. It has the ability to down helicopters low-flying fighter jets, and drones. Each Starstreak missile weighs 30 pounds or 13 kilograms, and its range is 4.3 miles or 7 kilometers with 3 miles or 4.8 kilometer ceiling. It is considered to be one of the fastest manned portable air defense missiles in the world with a top speed of around Mach 4. Starstreak has been in service with the British Army since 1997. Starstreak is a bit different from many other man pads. The missile has three submunitions, also known as darts, and use a laser for navigation. After launching from the tube, when the missile is at a safe distance away, which is around 4 meters or 13 feet from the operator, the second stage fires. This rapidly accelerates the missile to a velocity of more than Mach 4. As the second stage burns out, Three dart submunitions are released. The darts do not home in on laser energy reflected from the target, but instead the aiming unit projects two laser beams that paint a two-dimensional matrix upon the target. 
The lasers are modulated, and by examining these modulations, the submunitions sensor can determine the dart's location within the matrix. The dart is then steered to keep it in the center of the matrix. On impact with the object, a delayed action fuse is triggered. This gives time for the projectile to penetrate the target before the explosive warhead detonates. The tungsten housing is designed to fragment and produce maximum damage inside the target. Each submunition dart traveling at Mach 4 has comparable kinetic energy to a shell from a Bofors 40mm gun. Starstreak has a number of advantages over infrared homing guided, radar homing guided, and radio command guided missiles. One, it cannot be jammed by infrared countermeasures or radar or radio countermeasures. Two, it cannot be suppressed with anti radar missiles. Until now, Ukraine has been able to fire the missiles only from shoulder launches or portable stands which are more difficult to aim. Stormers are easier to operate and suitable for hit-and-run attacks. The system can be moved quickly from one area to the other, making counterattack difficult. The mobility also enables them to be positioned in locations where they are needed most. Given the inefficient SEAD, suppression of enemy air defenses, missions carried out by the Russian Air Force, it's likely that they'll find it very difficult to neutralize a mobile platform like Stormer. Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, has been lobbying for heavier firepower to push back the Russian advance now focused on the eastern region of Donbas. While Western allies are wary of being drawn into an outright war with Russia, they are providing heavier weapons than before. Colonel Richard Kemp, a former commander of British troops in Afghanistan, told The Times, The Stormer Starstreak combination will boost Ukraine's fighting capability. He added, It's an extremely effective, highly mobile command vehicle that will do severe damage to any attempts at low-level attack by Putin's Air Force. It's evident that the Stormer system entering this conflict is bad news for Russian forces given the fact that they've been losing even frontline fighters to manpads. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.